Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician and peptide doc. I hope everyone is having a great day. I'm gonna continue on with my peptide series. I've got a short summation of some uh, other peptides today. A lot of people are asking. I like to answer uh, questions from my patients and clients, friends and family, etc. And I'm gonna talk about uh, some uh, specific applications for some of the peptides. Specifically, I'm gonna talk about, as you know, I, I'm big on the muscle and the muscle and the myokines and the, how important is the muscle the, uh, you know the largest endocrine organ in the in the body and it's massively important in what it can do for you So my role is to the goal is to build the muscle and the fat and everything else will take care of itself You know the skeletal muscle is massively important sarcopenia is a big issue I did a, a prior video uh, talking about muscles and all the myokines and cytokines that it produces and its beneficial effects on the body So uh, for me again, we, we we promote cellular health and fitness We talk about health on the cellular level So we're getting to the root cause of what's going on fixing things fixing the mitochondria fixing the cell everything else will fall into place. All these other peripheral things you hear about, <clears throat> you know, won't really matter. It's about fixing the core. You want to fix the, the crux of the problem. So we talk about peptides for performance and, uh, and muscle gain, hypertrophy, uh, and of course. And then today, somebody had asked me about uh, fat loss. So again, uh, so I figured I'd touch on that first, then we kind of continue on. So, you know, peptides for fat loss. Again, I'm, uh, some of my colleagues have done great presentations in very detail on this. Suzanne Turner is one of them um, and uh, Dr. Seeds. At the IPS conference, so I'm going to talk uh, just in general terms, kind of keep it quick and, sh and short because I've done uh, broken down a lot of these individual peptides on longer videos before. But uh, for fat loss peptides, of course, we want to talk about nutrition, you know, fasting protocols, of course, fitness protocols, sleep, lifestyle. We talked about all these things before. These are lifestyle is huge. That's the biggest thing. Um, you know, you got to get that down first, as my friend Suzanne says. You got to do your homework, right? So get, get the basics down. Uh, HRT, hormone optimization, is massively important as well, uh, especially for those of the 40, 50 plus crowd. So we got to get that nailed down as well. And then, of course, in terms of uh, peptides, a lot of cool ones we can do. I, I use a ton of the GHRHs, GHRPs. You know, the testimonial, ipamorlin, and CJC twelve ninety five. These are cornerstone and foundational. You know, not only for uh, overall sleep and, and and slowing down the aging process. Overall enhancing cellular function, enhancing mitochondrial function. I've done some pre presentation on this before, but these are awesome uh, just as a baseline. They do so many things. Again, I've talked about this before, but in terms of boosting mitochondrial function, boosting internally, and not to get geeky, but the, the PGC1 alpha, uh, TFAM, which is the mitochondrial transcription factor, AMPK, it improves uh, the, site, uh, the Krebs cycle, it improves uh, fatty acid oxidation, improves glycolytic flux, it basically helps your cell to you know, basically to work and to function properly, to do what it's supposed to do, to work efficiently, to burn the right fuel at the right time, uh, to, to not be inefficient and waste energy, waste electrons. It's gonna make everything work better. It's kinda of like putting high octane fuel in your car, it's gonna run better. So it does many, many things, but in terms of fat loss, basically turns on some of these enzymes some of the, there's a lot of them like hormone sensor lipase erk and pkc basically enhance lip lipolysis or fat burning um you know increases beta oxidation which is basically burning of fat it helps your body to burn fat as a fuel um one of the other things it can help with is in increasing your amino acid uptake in the gut which of course can be useful for fuel for rebuilding your body building up your muscle building your bones and and especially when you're doing uh, eating some carbs too. Again, we'll talk about this later. But carbs aren't you know, carbs are not evil. You gotta have amino acids and pro, and uh, carbohydrates in your gut for proper amino acid absorption, other nutrient absorption to heal your gut. We've talked about how important the gut is. So again, I'm going off on a tangent here, but you know you want to make sure that that's you you have both together in the right ratios, the right kinds, you know, to get optimal nutrient absorption. So again, some of the other things, especially the DHRPs, are great for helping convert white adipose tissue into brown adipose tissue. The white is the bad kind, right? It's the kind of sits there and can when it gets inflamed which is, we know about the, the dangers of inflammation, can secrete all these other cytokines, which cause a down a domino effect on other things in your body, can cause other infl inflammatory processes, which can lead to obesity, diabetes, hypertension, all these other diseases of, of, of aging that we talk about. So brown adipose tissue is the kind that we have when we're babies, but we lose as we get older. So that's the kind that can actually promote uh, fat burning by uh, heat shock proteins and, and basically the uncoupling proteins, basically, that help your body burn off energy and help burn off the fat. So that's a good thing that these things can help convert that process. Um, it attaches to, there's a molecule that gets upgraded called CD36, which can increase the PP, PPAR gamma, which is basically involved in lipolysis and fat burning and cell efficiency. Uh, so these are, again, foundational. Biggest thing, like I said, it can definitely be helpful with uh, with overall function and sleep, but uh, again, if, if you're increasing the doses two, three, four times a day, spaced out appropriately, um, it can definitely massively important help the fat burning process. The important thing is make sure you quell down any inflammation, fix any other major issues first, because if you throw this in first, um, you're gonna make things a lot worse, and you could actually make someone more inflamed. Again, 
and I've harped on this before, guys, but you make sure you're seeing a, a, someone who knows what they're doing, someone who, a physician or other uh, practitioner who knows what they're doing has been trained and understands the physiologic process. You don't want to read an internet uh, social media guru who's not even a medical professional just spouting out you know, protocols. You know what I mean? You want someone who knows what you're talking about, who's actually dealt with patients, knows the physiological process, not just with peptides, but with the human body in general. Because these things, if you just like any medicine, if, you're, if you just play around with them and use them improperly, can cause, some, cause harm. Next one we're going to talk about, uh, very related to this, is uh, as I move my camera, is AOD. Uh, it's very similar uh, to the peptides, but basically they, they, they uh, did the 15 amino acid, a terminal sequence of, of, uh, of a growth hormone uh, peptide and, and cleaved it off. So basically they have what's called the lipolytic domain or basically the fat burning domain. So uh, with this, basically you get the fat burning effects without all the other effects of growth hormone IGF-1. So there's no an anabolism or other effects on, on metabolism. It's basically going to focus mainly on lipolysis. So again, similar to the other ones, it can increase uh, hormone synthesis of lipase and increase the beta-3 adrenergic expression, which again is, can, has to do with fat burning. So this is a good one that can be useful. It seems to be work, work better with those who are fasting. Uh, you know, according to uh, my colleagues, they said, you know, who, who quoted this statistic, Dr. Seeds, he said about 50% of the time he's seen it. Some people have uh, seen it work better than others. Uh, I've tried it myself as well. I definitely, you wanna make sure you're fasting when you're doing this and there's a certain protocol to use, but can be helpful as well. Uh, so it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's another one to try. Very, very safe. Again, it doesn't have any uh, known side effects uh, in, at all. Generally recognized as safe by the FDA. Used a ton of. And uh, this is another one that can be useful for other things too. We've talked about AOD in general, but uh, especially for joint issues, it can be injected directly in the joint with hyaluronic acid. Massively helpful for inflammatory processes. So anyway, so this is the first two. I'm going to continue on talk about some more fat-burning peptides. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Reach out to me with any questions. We'll talk to you soon.